you guys know where the Middle East is? Huh? No. no. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. yes. Iran. Iran. If there were to be a, a war or something over there, what, where would you go to get your news? Uh, Washington, D.C. <laughs> what, what, uh, what news channel? <laughs> uh, Fox News, probably. Back now to the Middle East, Palestinian protesters taking to the streets in the West Bank. They are clashing with Israeli forces, Palestinians throwing rocks and stones at Israeli soldiers, at least 360 Palestinians have been killed since the raid began, many Hamas militants, but also a number of civilians. Joining us now, the military launched its attack on Gaza because Hamas simply would not stop firing rockets into Israel. Would you agree that Hamas is to blame for all of these terrible Palestinian deaths? Completely misrepresenting the facts, but I'll move on. Hamas deliberately places that its command true. sites and arsenals in heavily populated residential neighborhoods, including schools. They use innocent mm -hmm. civilians, including children, as human shields. So isn't Hamas also to blame for the very high death toll in Gaza? That's, but that's a focus on the Muslim world rather than the Arab world again. Well, they're not, they're not. Afghanistan and Pakistan, I think, are included in that. We didn't include them earlier. We didn't, but I... <laughs> I've got to say, I think they're part of the Arab world. <laughs> I think they're Muslims. Uh, Israel, um, not Israel, uh, Palestine, Jordan, um, Syria, Iraq, Iran. Arabs, well, yeah, people from Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, Northern Africa, Morocco, Saudi Arabia, mainly those countries. The nationalities, I would say the Arabs, specifically Saudi Arabia, Kuwaitis, and uh, Iraqis. Um, uh, Jordanians and um, um, uh, spacing out. Jump in. Yeah, jump in. Yeah, um, I think of Iranians, I think of uh, Malays, Singaporeans, just because they're happens to be a work colleague who is from that country and she's Muslim. Um, Palestinians, certainly. Yeah, obviously Palestinians. Yeah. Maybe Kuwaitis, I think. Yeah. 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 It's like, you know, they lump. I don't think all Arabs are Islamic. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. So I just think, you know, it's, it's not always a uh, something like a fair combination. I don't like the combination all the time. Arab, Islamic, yeah, but. Uh, it's, it's sort of like thinking about the United States because it's regional and it's complex. So I wouldn't think of it as a monolith. Mm -hmm. I would think of it in, I mean, Egypt in and of it itself is its own space that has nothing to do with the Gulf. The Gulf has nothing to do with Saudi. The Syrians are by themselves, and then the Iraqis, you know, they're the fragments there. Mm -hmm. So it's, I, I don't think of it as a monolith. Right. Um, I think of it as, as much more fragments um, that existed both under the Ottomans, and then they've got sort of a unifying identity, I suppose, in a way. But, mm -hmm. but it's, it's not a monolith for me. Um, usually, um, it seems like they're very passionate yet violent at the same time. Okay. Anything else? Uh, they don't, for the most part, appear to be as refined and as educated as the rest of the world. Well, they're, I mean, they're pretty much everything we have in, like, the medicinal world is, is, is based down to the Arab world, mats, and they're like... Yeah, the bringer of lots of uh, knowledge and wealth and prosperity to the world. And I think uh, the media kind of focus on, focuses on one or two topics that keeps everybody occupied at the moment and pretty much forgets about uh, the rest that the Arab world brings. Um, well, you know, positive one, I guess the positive ones would be uh, the Koran and, you know, the I mean, it depends if you have positive and negative. Obviously, there's positive ones and then there's the negative ones that everybody's trying not to, you know, focus on, which is the terrorists and September 11th and 
you know, recently, what's his name, psychiatrist in Fort Hood, and, you know, there's some bad, bad publicity for the Arab world. Like Arabians? Yeah. Um, I think it's wrong. You shouldn't discriminate people. Um, but at the end of the day, danger is danger and undangerous undanger, if, if that's a word. <laughs> you know, I mean, um, I mean, like, like you shouldn't do that to people. I mean, well, I don't know, like, what, what do you mean you like, uh, I mean, like, they're basically saying that all Arabians are dangerous. And that's not right. You know what I'm saying? A major problem with the, the kind of discourse in our society the way in which Arabs, Arab culture and uh, Islam is discussed uh, in our media, in our society, I think often does uh, sort of promote fear, suspicion, sometimes even hatred. The uh, constant and perception we have that somehow the media is being biased. The media is exercising the First Amendment rights we're all given. And I think that if we try to go too far in saying, well, uh, one station is doing one extreme and the other is being biased the other way, if we don't encourage uh, both sides to be expressed, then what happens is we say, well, we have to have what we think is right. 